We're going to try it this way. Because it didn't work the other way. So let's just see if there's any way to do this. Okay, so it's kind of in focus there. Okay. So that's what we're going to do, I guess. Before we start, my sister gifted me this old set of Liquitex paints, um, permanent pigments. I'll have to look that up and learn more. But they're like in metal rolls, which is something I don't see anymore. Um, so we're going to use these for a video later on. Not tonight, but later on, because that's kind of cool. Okay. Hopefully this records really well, because I can't see it, so I'm just going to have to kind of keep a slight eye on it. Um, I'm going to do a short video, I couldn't sleep, it's like almost 2 o'clock in the morning here. I don't know how long it'll take it to load once I get it done, because the internet's really laggy, I couldn't do a live, I tried to. So, I want to do a swipe, and I think I want to use some metallics, but I also kind of have had a friend of mine on my mind, so I think I'm going to try to do some darker colors, like, I'll use the antique copper metallics from, um, Folk art. And I think I'll use the blue sapphire metallics also from Folk Art. Use the Inca gold from Folk Art. And there's something really crazy in with it that I normally wouldn't do. A pure orange enamels from Folk Art. It's the only one that's not. Um, a metallic. So, these are the only cups I have here until I go shopping. So, that's what we're going to work with. Um, I'm going to mix them, but I'm going to try to mix them fast because I don't know how long this video is going to last. Worst case, it becomes a two part. This antique copper is much darker than the copper that I have in the big bottle. This is almost like a chocolate copper. And then orange. Because it's just a weird color to add to it. These are colors I normally wouldn't put together, so I feel like let's try something new that I normally wouldn't do. And I'm trying to be a little bit quiet because I am in the dining room in my mom's house and everybody is asleep except for me. My sister is asleep in her room. Mom and my stepdad are asleep in their room. And there was a chunk. Let's get that out of there. And I couldn't sleep. I was talking to a friend of mine and I just made me really want to paint. I've been wanting to paint for a while now. Because I've been on this vacation visiting family and I haven't got to paint much. And you guys know me. I love to paint, so not getting to paint a lot kind of throws me for a loop. I'm not going to add any silicone to the metallics, but I will add some of the coconut milk to the orange, I think.
I did do a ornament the other day, um, and I'm hoping that video loads pretty soon. It's taking its time with the internet. I think it's already been like 12 hours of it trying to load. Okay, and then this one, after I stir it real good with the flow troll, I may have to add extra flow troll this one because it was an enamel, and it actually uh, is a thicker paint, so it may need more flow troll. I'm trying to do this as fast as possible, guys, because I know this video is going to time out at some point, and I'd really like to do this all as a part one instead of having to do two or three parts. Okay, I'm just going to add a bit of water to this one, just a couple of little drops. And you know that's unusual of me, I normally don't add water to my paints. But it's an enamel. So it's really thick, plus I didn't bring, I only brought a gallon and a half of Floetrol with me. And we did ornaments at Granny's, and I did the Charlie Brown one. I did an ornament here, and I've got several other projects to do while I'm up here. Okay, that's a good consistency. Okay, I'm also going to add one drop of Coconut Milk OGX Anti-Breakage Serum, which is silicone. Just one little drop. I'm just going to stir that in a few times. I don't want it to see how it's sitting on the top. I don't want it sitting on the top. I want it to actually stir in. Okay. Okay, so I'm going to move these out of the way. I, I thought I wanted to do a swipe, but I think I'm just going to do a pour. Um, but if I do flip cups, then I'm going to have to use the small cups. So I'm going to have to do a couple of them. So yeah, maybe I just do a swipe for this one, you guys. So, let's use the orange as the swipe color, because that would be really weird. And it's the only non-metallic. So I have plastic over my mom's kitchen table. And my mom and sister are both kind of OCD about cleanliness and stuff. <laughs> so it's been interesting with what little painting I have done. It has honestly been interesting. I don't want to waste any paint, you guys. Just to make sure I have enough to do this. Okay. I'm hoping my friend watches this. We were just talking, so I'm sure that once it's loaded, probably will. Okay, set those cups to the side. More of my swipe color. I've got a little bit more of my swipe color left, so the problem is I've got this box here. And I don't know how it's going to work to swipe the way I normally swipe. 
So guys, I'm going to turn it and hopefully it's still pretty visible to you guys. I'm going to push it that way a little just to cover up the corner. I'll do the edges later. And I'm just going to slide. Try to cover the edges some. I'll re over that if I have to. Slide. So I probably didn't have quite enough paint on here. Some of the paint off my palette. 